century from 25 years ago. You got my head twisted behind my back here. I have a, I, I have a documented shoulder injury. Can we talk to this sergeant? Can I please try to work this out? Because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Oh! Oh! I'd like to welcome you to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Here's Johnny. I need help. Seriously, I need freaking help. I need help. Oh my God. I need help. Oh my God. help. Birmingham Courthouse. Uh, the sign in the lobby says, do not enter. Not maybe you can enter later. Our auditors today are Georgia Transparency and J-Town Press. I don't care about other people. Sir, don't pull your gun out on me. Just for the record, the, the officer never reached for his gun or stated that was his intention. Sir, don't pull your gun out on me. Oh, oh my God. Serious? Oh, sh seriously, dude? That's the best one. Stay up there. Get your f***ing supervisor here. Are you cussing me? Get your supervisor. Turn. Sir, no, sir. Uh-uh. No, sir. Oh, fuck, come on. Call 911. Call 911. Uh, hey! Hey! Come here! Come here! Come, I need help. I need help right now. I need help. Seriously. I need freaking help. I need help. He said he's going to shoot me. Inside. Yes. Yes, he said he's going to shoot me and kill me. This is just a guess, but that, that's likely not the first time this frauditor has heard that. He said he's going to shoot me and kill me. Oh, I said that. I think you're lying. Please, I need f***ing help. Oh, I'm a No, you're not. Get, please, I need help. I need help. I need freaking help. Any person who truly believed that this officer was going to shoot him would not be confronting this officer. He'd be two blocks away by now, but his over-the-top hysteria is nothing but a street performance. Oh, I said that. I think you're lying. Please, I need f***ing help. Oh, I'm a person in handcuffs on No, you're not. Get, please, I need help. I need help. I need freaking help. You will get here or here again? Louie. That's both of y'all. I remember y'all. I don't care, dude. No. I remember y'all. And I've been in there. Louie. Oh, shit. Uh oh. oh my God. Hey, help. Oh my God. Help. Help. Oh my God. Hey, get him. Help. He grabbed her. Help. 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 Help me. Let go of my stuff. Get him. He's he can't do that. Get off my stuff. Let's look at this through the eyes of the, the police officer. The police officer is in a confrontation. He's dealing with Georgetown transparency, and he's not looking behind him right now. He doesn't see J-Town Press holding a metal object in her right hand. Now watch as J-Town Press takes a step forward. You know, if you think about it, his reaction is just instinctive, given that she's so close to him and given the circumstances that he's in a screaming match with somebody in front of him. Now, most people, but especially law enforcement, would instinctively reach for the metal object. Oh, shit! Uh -oh. Oh, hey, help! Oh, help! Help! Oh, hey, get him! Help. Hey, help. grabbed her! Help! 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 Help me! Let go of my stuff! Dude! Get off my stuff! Get off my stuff! Bam! What the hell? He's grabbing all of my stuff. Get off my stuff, motherfucker. What the is up with him? What is up with him? Get back. I'm losing myself. Grab me, motherfucker. Get off me. I 
will defend myself. No comment. I will defend myself. No. Sir, please. Sir. Sir. Can you get him off me? Sir, can you get him off me? Sir, sir, I'm, e I'm existing in a public place with a camera working on a story. I'm a journalist. The judge implied that I was just going around harassing people and calling it journalism. I'm a journalist. He's flipping out and trying to arrest me. Words are real. <laughs> This officer just threatened to shoot me and kill me in public for filming. And he just he just put his hands on uh, J Town Press. He just put his hands on her in public. I think he just pulled my hair out. That's the, that, that's that's crime. I want to press charges. Hey, 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 uh, Chief. Oh my God, are you his supervisor? Are you the supervisor? I need to talk to you, please. Uh, can I tell you what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you what happened? I have it on film, too. He got it on film. So my, my friend here went in there. Well, hold on. No, no. I, I was here. Let me tell you my first part first. I first, I walked in here, and I walked up to the security checkpoint, and uh, he told me I couldn't film or take any pictures in there or something. So once I disagreed with him, he got very loud with me and told me he was going to shoot me, and then he chased me out the door with handcuffs trying to no, arrest I me. I got nothing to do with y'all. Wait, Vernon, so who's going to so you? You're not going to watch it. That's the county. Did that happen out here? Did it happen? It happened right here. Outside. Outside? Well, inside he threatened to shoot me. Outside he was chasing me with handcuffs to put me in jail for trying to do a report. Because we don't have anything to do with Jefferson County. Uh, the auditors called the Birmingham Police Department. They want no part of any auditing. So they also lack jurisdiction since the alleged battery happened on the county courthouse property. No, we're going to get an attorney is what we're going to get. Okay. So what happened was he was standing about right where this, this first white square is. I was I walked across the street. He goes out and we said, did. He said, you need to. The deputies need to handle it. Their jurisdiction for the adults. Okay. Let's well. step outside. You are not going to get in danger. You don't want to get in danger. So you step outside and call in there. I'm calling. I'm freezing cold. Okay, step outside now. You go back to your car again. You need to step outside. If I don't, what's going to happen? Step outside. So if I don't think it's going to happen? Oh, I'm going to go down and get a work for you for us. See you next time. For disobeying our lawful order. So, Disobeying order. Georgia Transparency uh, puts the usual BS on the screen. They threatened to get a warrant to arrest J-Town for existing in public. It sounds innocent enough, but there's a few legal issues here that we'll discuss. Number one, the do not enter sign does not mean that filming is permitted in the Jefferson Courthouse lobby. What it does mean is you can't enter minus clearing the security protocol. The lobby is also off limits for filming because auditors refuse to believe that a county judge can sign an order prohibiting filming in the entire courthouse, but they can. And it's been upheld in higher courts. Let's look at some excerpts from other videos which supports this. This one involves the lovely riot girl. You can't record in the government buildings here. According to what law, ma'am? Um, I'll go find it for you. That'd be great. Sure, but you're going to step outside first, and then I'm going to find it for you. No, I'm not going to step outside. I'm going to stay right here. We asked you multiple We're, the times public to turn it off. is the boss of you. You're not the We've boss of me. We asked you multiple times to turn it off. Hey, 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 back, we asked you multiple times. They arrested me because I went in to the courthouse, and um, I was filming, of course. They showed me an administrative order. 
That's what they arrested me over. A judge's administrative order. And now we have the Long Island auditor, Sean Reyes, being booted from a Kansas City courthouse. Um, so we have a signature from Judge Sally Picorni. This recording inside the Judicial Center is prohibited without prior permission of the court. According to this, this does refer to the whole building, including the hallways. At this point, I will ask you to stop your phone, stop your recording. We need a citizen's review on this order, apparently, from the judge. I don't understand why judges have so much power. I'm Deputy Tyler Cruz. Well, how are you today? Hey, how are you? Good. I have two options for you. Mm -hmm. This signed order basically says, and the judge just told me on body camera, she wants you removed. She, okay? I need to be removed from the courthouse? Yes. So you have two options. Yep. You may leave. You're free to go. Or we arrest you for interference. Can I ask you a couple questions? Nope. You will see many other frauditors argue their legal ability to film in a courthouse, calling it their constitutional right. But the law is clear. The rules about recording inside a federal courthouse are clear. Except for devices used in connection with official court records, the following are prohibited in the courthouse. One, radio or television broadcast. And two, the use of production or recording equipment that is A, photographic, B, electronic, or C, mechanical. That means no filming inside any part of the federal courthouse building. So J-Town Press uh, will probably sue, but it's a weak case because she snuck up on a deputy sheriff while he was distracted and arguing with her trespassing co-conspirator. And she refused several lawful orders, which is both trespassing and obstruction. That's my take on it. What's yours? The John Legato Show is being brought to you from right outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, like and subscribe. Semper Fidelis.